Now the F1 drama is picking up speed as Christian Horner has broken his silence after a week of calls for his resignation. Well, obviously, there's been an awful lot of, uh, you know, coverage surrounding this, but one has to go back to the to the basis of a grievance was raised. It was fully investigated and it was dismissed. And from there, we move onwards. And I think the time now is to, to look forward and to draw a line under it. The time now is to focus on what is going on on track. Meanwhile, Red Bull has dramatically suspended Horner's accuser. The shop move comes as Jerry Halliwell, Horner's wife, reportedly demanded her husband cut all contact with the colleague. But Jerry isn't the only one left shaken by the scandal, as Red Bull's star driver Max Verstappen is refusing to rule out the prospect of joining Mercedes now in 2025. Well, for more on all this drama, I'm joined by Talk Sports F1 correspondent Fern Barkley. Fern, thanks for making time, and it's been a busy day in sports reporting. Uh, Oh my goodness. Uh, good Lord. I mean, what? When we heard that um, not only was the accuser being suspended, but then we had Horner speaking from Saudi Arabia saying he wants to draw a line under this. What were your, what were your thoughts, maybe professionally and personally? <laughs> well, it's a really difficult one. We've had time to digest it now, haven't we, and think about what he has said. But I try. I, I'm finding it difficult as a female that works in motorsport, in sports as a whole, in the media where so many times we're told to not make an issue or raise an issue because you're concerned about your job or whether it will stunt your growth or what, whatever you're doing, just as females in general. And my biggest concern here is he said, you know, sweep it under the rug or let's move on with it. And at the end of the day, it's a serious situation what was happening. Yes, he got cleared of those allegations, but we shouldn't be just ignoring the, that this situation at hand. This woman had made a complaint we don't want to make an example of her, you know, someone that gets suspended for even having the courage to take it to higher up in Red Bull. And it just concerns me what will happen from now on. Is it going to put off other women, other people, wherever you are, not just Formula One, that there's going to be a, a serious situation that you won't be able to take any further? Is it the case that Christian Horner is deemed so important in the sport and to Red Bull that he can do no wrong? I don't know. I don't think anyone is that important in Formula One if, if you know, it needs to be. And he had been proven to um, have done what he was being alleged of, then he would have had to go. But we're in a very tricky uh, time now where there's a number of people within Red Bull that aren't happy. He was mentioning about Max Verstappen potentially wanting to go elsewhere. His dad, Jos Verstappen, saying that Christian had to go. Adrian Newey, who works and designs the Red Bull cars, apparently he's not too happy with the situation. Also, commercial deals, which are worth a lot of money. We're talking millions and millions of pounds. If they are not happy with the situation and are quite happy to be like, nope, OK, we're backing out, especially Ford, who is supposed to be going in with Red Bull uh, to give them an engine very soon. Money talks. So if, if these commercial deals are going to be pulling through or Max Verstappen leaving as a result of Christian staying, I don't think he's that important. He could have gone. Yeah, it's interesting. We've seen other examples in sport, plenty of where enough outside pressure is applied over a scandal for, you know, the top dog to have to see their way out. Uh, for some reason, Rubiales, Luis Rubiales is, is coming to my mind because we covered that in great detail last time. Obviously very different. And that was the kiss that he planted on that female soccer player. But with this, mm. I mean, I am wondering whether Horner can actually hold on amid all this scrutiny. That's exactly it, isn't it? Once these allegations are made, and again, I say there's been a fair trial that they say uh, has been conducted in the right manner. He's been proven that he has been dismissed. Uh, he didn't do what was alleged. That's going to linger for a long time. It doesn't just go away overnight. And Red Bull fans, just outsiders look or insiders looking in outsiders it whatever you way you look at it people are going to be judging red bull right now and we've got the saudi arabian grand prix happening in just two days time qualifying starts tomorrow and no one's going to be talking about the racing they're going to be focusing on this situation and lewis hamilton's been speaking at press conferences saying now is the time to, to make an example of this and make sure that everyone in formula one is treated fairly and uh, we move forward this with this in a better way to make F1 a better place for fans and for everyone that work in it. Fern Buckley, F1 correspondent, TalkSport, we appreciate your time.